Hey everybody, Jason Creel and this is Salon Care Life. You can look behind me and see there is a lot of work to go on this yard. Uh, still a lot of bare areas, but I want to show you the areas that have made progress. Some of you have been following the channel know that I plugged my front yard with Bermuda. I put out some zoysia this past year. I put out some St. Augustine. I put out some more Bermuda. So I want to go back and cut some old clips and show you what this looked like a year ago in the front yard and then show you uh, the other progress I'm making on the other parts of the yard and uh, kind of some before and afters and show you the progress. Maybe if you're, you're looking to renovate your own yard or lay some sod or wondering can my yard recover if it looked bad, hopefully this uh, video will be some inspiration to you. Let's get started. All right, so I'm filming the video in September and last year, it was last August when I plugged this front yard with Bermuda and uh, we had a pretty severe drought, so not that much of it lived. And this year, it, it really started to spread and so this is the front yard. Now you see the, the kind of the lines there. We, my kid's been driving a little golf cart through the yard a lot. So color's starting to go a little bit. Plus we're getting closer to fall, but got pretty much full coverage here in the front yard. Now on that very far side over there, there's still some areas that need to fill in, but you know, I would say for the most part, this is what Bermuda's supposed to look like again color starting to fade a little bit due to the time of year we'll walk here and just show you some of the bare spots still a little bit where it's trying to spread there I don't know if it'll fill in this year or not this most likely won't because we're just getting down in the low 50s this next week so you know you can see over there still a lot of progress to be made now let me show you what it looked like a year ago cut back to some old video footage and show you uh, just over a year ago how this looked I have any irrigation out here other than i you know you can see a sprinkler running over there but i would have got the ground nice and loose because when it was tilled up the the pieces and i don't think it's going to take a year but i i got it going and the hard parts over with now i just had to watch it spread i'll probably overseed it with ryegrass this fall Maybe these chickens will help fertilize my lawn for me. The old crazy chicken. So I overseeded with the ryegrass last winter because it was so thin. I just didn't want a lot of bare spots. And then I killed the ryegrass and then let the Bermuda start to spread. And I really put a lot of fertilizer on it this year and it filled in nicely. So next year, you know, hopefully the rest of it will fill in on the sides. And by then, hopefully have a complete yard. But I was real happy with the progress I made there. Now this year, I started making some other changes i did some i laid out some sod in the back of my property where we had some trees cleared i also put out some zoysia put out some saint icy so let's go uh, i'll do a flashback show you some of the old footage there and let's show you the progress it's made all right so again this video that i'm filming currently is in mid-september i believe it was in june pretty sure when, when i put out zoysia so let's take a look back at the zoysia when we were putting it out and then i'll show it to you today To, uh, to what it looks like now, I'm pretty happy. The only thing I wish is I had, you know, could have probably used one more pallet to go beyond this crepe myrtle here. I don't always do the greatest job when I'm laying sod, especially in my own property, because I just feel like I'll get it to fill in later. But here's what it looks like today. Got some okay color to it. It, it was struggling with some hot, dry weather. I don't always put out the sod at necessarily the ideal time. I just kind of do it whenever I get ready. And so again, we do this in the summertime. It's so hot and just takes a while to get established. Now the zoysia, we did get a lot of rain when I first put it out. So that definitely helped, but it's looking nice. You know, I put it out here and I've got these large crepe myrtle trees and I'm probably gonna put some pine straw or mulch in there around those and uh, I think it'll look good. So that's the update on the zoysia. Now that was in June. Then in July, I put out, instead of plugging sod like I did in my front yard, I decided just to buy two pallets of sod 
and just throw it out in the back back here we had a bunch of trees back here and by the time the tree guy finally got it hauled off it was july which again is not ideal time to put it out and it's difficult to water it but that's when he got done so that's when we got the land graded out and that's when i put the sod out and it was we were just watering it enough to keep it alive but then we finally got some heavy rain and it just you know i wish i could have got the sod out in march or april and i could have maybe got close to full coverage back here but let me show you what it looked like when we were putting it out in july and then show you what it looks like today in september the sodding process and I know what you're thinking if you see this you're gonna be like jason I think you missed a spot, you know, and you're right. I did miss a spot. I missed a lot of spots, but this is uh, what we're doing. Two two pallets for about two and a half acres, and I had some Bermuda growing already, so you can see how we've done it. We just we got a trailer and just throwing it off the trailer, and and you can see over here this one. All right, so not incredible results and that's because some of the time it was just hanging in there trying to survive now some of this that is thicker you can see this was what was plugged last year and a lot of it started to spread because there was some that that survived from last year the reason there's not as much over there is because that's where the big trees were piled up so there wasn't you know a lot of grass that be plugged from last year but you can see is if you look at the pieces of sod I threw out and it would have been better probably if I could have cut them in half and spread them out further but it was just I just wanted to get them out to be honest with you but look at where you got Bermuda and it's just spreading and spreading and spreading so I think by next year it'll fill in you can see where it's it's trying to spread and doing best it can you know where it's putting out all these runners and you know so anyway next year i think it's gonna look great back here i've got my golf flag back over here hoping one day it'll now next year i can make it look like a hundred yard golf hole but not so much right now this would be a certainly a discount golf course if it looked like had a fair way to look like this now one thing i, I had to make this decision last year on my front yard it it looked about like this going into winter time maybe a little bit better and I was thinking to myself, uh, I had a conversation about whether or not to put out a pre-emergent. Because if I put the pre-emergent out, is it going to hinder the Bermuda grass from spreading next year and taking root? And what I decided to do was to put the pre-emergent out like in December, which is earlier than I normally would. I use prodiamine. And by doing that, because I thought my concern was there was so much crabgrass in the yard, if I don't use a pre-emergent, then I'm just going to have crabgrass everywhere and it makes it hard for the Bermuda to spread because there's so much crabgrass. So I put it out in December. My logic was that by the time the Bermuda grass really starts spreading, which would be like June, July, and August, you know, or very good months for growing Bermuda grass, the pre-emergent shouldn't have much effect on it from taking root and i and that seemed to prove true in my front yard it, i didn't see many problems with it taking root or any kind of root pruning going on so i am thinking i'll probably go with a similar strategy back here i'll probably put the pre-emerge out in december hopefully be enough that to keep a lot of the crabgrass down but not uh, so much that it sticks around and affects it from spreading next summer and as it has all winter to get established i think you know next year it ought to get a lot earlier starting really philly and now i've got some big spots and i may do a little a little bit of plugging along the way but you can see where it's spreading and even here it's just little little patches of bermuda and that's all over here so i mean you know if i get a big 10 foot area i can always put a plug in there and help it spread faster there's the old workshop coming along hopefully wrap it up pretty soon and then last but not least uh we put out some saint augustine so let me show you the clip of putting out a little saint augustine grass and then show you the update on it i think we did it in august maybe
And the reason I went with St. Augustine, not because I necessarily wanted to, uh, well, I guess I did want to, it was my choice, but I would have preferred Zoysia, but I wanted something that would spread a little faster. So I thought, well, the St. Augustine is going to spread faster and be a little cheaper and i didn't want to sod it solid because that would take you know be too expensive so that's why i put saint Augustine under these big oak trees something that would be shade tolerant and i wanted to try to keep it somewhat separate from a bermuda grass because i don't think saint Augustine bermuda necessarily look too great together not nearly as good as as uh, zoysia and bermuda but again just trying to uh me on a budget here and get something that would spread so you can see where it, it's doing okay i put it out didn't water it, it you know that that great either and some's doing better than others you can see where a couple pieces are just barely hanging in there but if we can just get a little bit more rain or if i can get out here and water it a little bit then get it to winter time hopefully it'll survive the winter and then next year can really take off so you see some pieces like that look quite healthy not a lot of spreading you see where it's finally starting to run a little bit so i don't know if all this st Augustine back here how much it'll fill in next year i don't think it's going to spread quite as fast as bermuda but hopefully you know a year or two from now i'll have st Augustine in this shady area and hopefully i can keep it separated from the bermuda out there I just didn't want it being bare back here and just having a lot of bare dirt and mud in the winter time. So I wanted some kind of grass to grow. So I put some St. Augustine here and under that giant oak tree out there in the distance and a little bit along uh, the creek area that is also quite shaded. Last well, update on the lawn. Hopefully it's an encouragement to you to show you the progress the yard can make. Hey, I'm not there yet. I tell people, give me one more year. By next summer, I think it's going to be looking really good around here. I'd like to get some more topsoil brought in and kind of level it out back here in the back. But I actually think in the back, I'm going to end up with better grass than I do in the front. The front, I had a lot of common Bermuda. I tried to kill it before I plugged it with the hybrid Bermuda. But some of the common Bermuda uh, survived and is now spreading. So I got some common Bermuda mixed in with my hybrid Bermuda. Back here in the back, it was all big trees and wooded and there was you know, virtually no grass. So I think uh, when I plugged it or put out the, the uh, hybrid Bermuda, the 419, I, I think uh, there should be no common Bermuda back here, or at least very little. So I think I'm actually gonna have a, a better stand of grass back here in the back once it gets established like i said gonna be next year time's winding out on me this year the fall is coming cooler nights which i'm thankful for but not great for growing bermuda grass so uh, i'm probably not going to overseed it with ryegrass this fall i'm just going to let it be a, a muddy mess back here and then next year we'll get the bermuda to grow thanks for watching the video i'm jason krill i encourage you to subscribe to the channel there's over 500 lawn care videos on the channel if you're in the lawn business go to lawncarelife.com and check out some resources available for you there talk to you guys later bye